Yeah, for those who are asking for Kabaka story, I got you back. I got you back. I'm inside Kabaka underground prison, and this is how it looks from the entrance. So, my tour guide today, your name is Nordin. You look so beautiful with your cape. <laughs> So he is the one who's going to take me around. We capture Kabaka story. We'll visit here and then we'll also go to the palace. Kabaka palace. I am ready. I am ready for the tour. Mm -hmm. My name is Nelly and welcome to Mango Palace. Yes. This is the King's Palace. Yeah. It was, it was established by King Daniel Mwanga in 1885. Yeah. So Buganda Kingdom, it is a kingdom which has lasted for a period of 800 years mm -hmm. and in that period of 800 years, Buganda Kingdom has been made by 36 kings. Uh -huh. So the current king marks to be the 36 king of Buganda. The 36 king of Buganda. Yeah, so in our kingdom Buganda, a title we give to a ruling king, we call him Kabaka mm -hmm. when he's alive, but when he passes away, we call him Sekabaka. Mm -hmm. And in our kingdom, Buganda, the first son of the king never become a king. Mm -hmm. He just becomes a family caretaker. Mm -hmm. So they go to the other sons of the king and they shoot the best king mm -hmm. from other sons of the king. If the king doesn't have a son, they go to the close brothers or cousins. Mm -hmm. So we are called Buganda. We speak a language called Uganda. One person is a Buganda and many they are called Buganda. Mm -hmm. In our kingdom, Buganda, so this is doing the palace. Mm -hmm. As you're taking the picture, mm -hmm. it was established by King Daniel Mwanga in 1885. Mm -hmm. King Daniel Mwanga, uh -huh. King Daniel Mwanga, yeah. he ascended to the throne in 1884. Yeah. And in our kingdom, Buganda, every king was free to establish his capital. So this was established by King Daniel Mwanga in 1885. Yeah. In 1886, Mwanga ordered the digging of the largest man made lake whereby he called upon the clans of Baganda to come out and dig this lake. Oh. So the purpose of building this lake was to act as an escape corridor in case of any attacks. Mm -hmm. And he also wanted to connect his lake to Lake Naluvari. Okay. In 1894, Buganda Kingdom and the rest of Uganda became a British protectorate, mm -hmm. whereby in 1897, Mwanga demanded to know the position of his kingdom in the British. Yeah. Of which the British they didn't answer him. Manga was giving orders and they were also giving orders. So what Manga decided to do, he declared a war against this British, which lasted for two weeks. And Manga was defeated. He was captured and taken to Sishwe's Island in Indian Ocean. So when he was in Sishwe's Island, he met a group of people a king in Uganda. But would you like us to take you back to your kingdom? Yeah. Manga accepted to be baptized because it was on condition. Mm -hmm. If you want to be taken back to your kingdom, mm -hmm. you have to first baptize you. So he was baptized and they named him Daniel. Mm -hmm. That's why you're able to hear the Sekabaka Daniel mm -hmm. Mwanga. So that name Daniel on the Sishwe's Island. Yeah. So unfortunately, these Anglican people, they just lied Mwanga. They, mm, they lied? They lied him. They never brought him back in, in his kingdom. Oh, so it was a trick? It was a trick. So, unfortunately, he, does, he, just, he died from there in 1973. Mm -hmm. And this took a period of seven years to be back. But his remains. Okay. His remains were brought back to Uganda in 1910 and he was taken to the royal Kasuri tombs. Mm -hmm. You know, we have Kasuri tombs. They act as burial ground to the, for the king of Uganda. When the king passes away, we take him to Kasuri tombs. Okay. So even everyone in uh, their family is buried there? The families? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some family members, mm -hmm. most especially kings, mm -hmm. princes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just some tongues. Okay. Yeah. So, Mwanga was succeeded by his son by then. He was one year and six days. That is Sekabaka Dawudu Chua. Mm -hmm. I remember I told you that when the king is alive, Sekabaka when he has died. But starts. when he is ruling, he's the king is called Kabaka. Kabaka. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was succeeded by his son by then. He was one year and six days. That is King David. Mm -hmm. He 
was one year and six days, but since he was still young, he was given to the agents to look after him until the time of coronation. Mm -hmm. He was given Zakaria Singh, Stanislas Mugwanya, and Sir Apollo Fagwa mm -hmm. until the time of coronation. Mm -hmm. So, Daudi Chua, he was the first Kabaka to go to Europe countries in 1913 at the age of 17 years old. So, before in our kingdom, Uganda, it was a taboo for the girls to eat eggs and chicken. Oh! Well, <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? Mm. Not a lot to eat eggs and chicken, but when so Daudi Chua went to Europe countries, mm -hmm. he came back and permitted the Baganda girls to start eating eggs and chicken. You know, these Baganda people, they thought that whenever a girl eat eggs and chicken, they would become infertile and couldn't be able to produce. Wow! <laughs> so, after visiting Europe, he came back and permitted the Baganda girls to start eating eggs and chicken. In 1914, our king was the only first worker to have his official marriage at St. Paul and Limbe Cathedral. It is for the Anglicans. When he came and he allowed the women to eat the eggs, what did the society take? Were they happy? Were the elders angry? What was the take? No, since, you know, these Baganda people, in our kingdom, Uganda, mm -hmm. most especially, mm -hmm. people we do obey the oh. orders. And you respect We them. respect them. Okay. So everyone was free okay. that uh, eggs and chicken are eaten by men. But currently, ladies are not I serious. Currently, ladies are not serious. They even uh, they cut hens, mm -hmm. they, eat, uh, they eat everything alone. You know? <laughs> Our king got a chance to go back to Europe in 1922 whereby he visited Buckingham Palace for King George. So he visited Buckingham Palace for King George, yeah. and when he returned back in his kingdom, Uganda, he's the one who constructed that modern building. Okay. So it took a period of 11 years, from 1922 up to 1933. Yeah. So unfortunately, that king also died because of diabetes. Oh, sorry. And he was taken to the Royal Castle with Thomas. He was even the first FIFA president of Uganda in 1924. Yeah. So he was succeeded by his son, that is Sekawaka Edward Mutesa II. This was the first constitutional president of Uganda. He studied at King's College Budo. He went to Cambridge University and graduated in political science. And he spent most of his time in Europe. So when he returned back in his kingdom in Uganda, and in Uganda at large in 1961, he founded these people in Uganda trying to struggle to get the independence. Since he had qualifications, our king joined them and Uganda at large got her independence in 1962. He was elected to be the first president of Uganda from 1963 up to 66. He's the current king now. He stays in Banda. Mm -hmm. He doesn't stay here. Mm -hmm. He normally comes here for birthdays and meeting the prime minister. How old is he? Currently, he's 66 years old. He's 66? 66 years old. When did he become the... The Kawaka? Yeah. Yeah, that is in 1993. It was coronation time. Mm -hmm. And getting a wedding, it was in 1999, mm -hmm. at St. Paul and Melimbe Cathedral, mm -hmm. whereby three kings of Uganda, that is Daudi, Daudi Chua, mm -hmm. talk about King Freddy, and even the current king, they all had their official marriages at the Melimbe Cathedral. Mm -hmm. It is for the Anglicans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, that is the palace from behind. This is a servant quarter. What is it? Oh. Okay. So from behind, guys, that is how the palace looks. I think this is was a corridor leading to the servant quarter. He, yeah, the Kabaka's servant quarter where his workers were, were sleeping. And then they pass there, maybe they go and serve them in the main house. You see also he had a balcony, beautiful balcony. What is the royal mine? It's a one mile from the Uganda Parliament. From the Uganda Paya mean to Oh you're saying palace. one mile, one walking mile. mile? Yeah, walking mile it's a one mile. Mm -hmm. From the Buganda Paya mean to the King's Palace. Yeah. So we do have two roundabouts. The mm -hmm. first one is inside, another one is outside. Mm -hmm. No one is allowed to pass through in the middle way except the King of Buganda. 
Because in our kingdom we say mm -hmm. that our king is ever straight in all what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And the reason why you see those moments for the lion, mm -hmm. uh, in our kingdom, Boganda, we call our king to be the lion. Mm -hmm. And the lion is the strongest animal in the jungle. Mm -hmm. so, so from the palace, yeah. he, the, the, the king would pass like here straight up to the parliament. And you've heard the reason why he has to go straight in all his decision making in all he does is straight that's the reason why he can go round round the roundabout like how we go to driving school and we are taught to go round the roundabout the king will go direct like like they the straight way in the inside the roundabout up to the parliament The Idi Amin what? Amin. Okay. It was a gift from Gaddafi to Idi Amin. Mm -hmm. Idi Amin that by then he was expecting a war from a Tanzanian president. Mm -hmm. By then he was called Julius Nyerere. Julius Nyerere. Julius Nyerere. So it was a gift from Gaddafi mm -hmm. to Idi Amin. Mm -hmm. The purpose was to fight against Julius Nyerere. Because mm -hmm. Idi Amin tried to annex, he tried to capture the Tanzanian Kagra region. Mm -hmm. So what? Julius Nye did is to come and capture Kampala. Mm -hmm. Kampala was captured and Idi had to get helicopter. Mm -hmm. He fled to Libya first, that is in 1980, mm -hmm. and later shifted to Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. where he died from there in 2003. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he was buried in the cemetery of Russian Jida okay. at the age of 78 years old. Okay. Remember, I told you that when Obote became the president, yeah. In 1966 up to 71, mm -hmm. this palace was turned into a military palace. Mm -hmm. After both the forming parties, UPC and Kabaka Yika, mm -hmm. they ordered Idi Amin to come and attack the palace. Mm -hmm. So the king was inside in the, in the palace here. Mm -hmm. So these were the king Freddy's carrymen mm -hmm. were destroyed by the bones. So here are three men, whereby this black one it was called Daimler. Mm -hmm. Do you know Daimler? It was for Daimler. Mm -hmm. And this was for Kadla. Mm. And this last one. Ara Ara, this is wrong size. Mm. Wow. So the police was turned into a military bandit. So those are the family members to the soldiers who are protecting the king in the palace. Oh, they used to live within this building here? Yeah? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. It was turned into a military palace. But even currently, mm -hmm. the soldiers who are protecting the king, those are their family members. They sleep in those quarters. Their wives, you mean their wives and kids? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The kids and wives. Mm -hmm. For the soldiers, mm -hmm. and for our kingdom, Buganda, we are planning to do the innovation mm -hmm. for those quarters. Wow. Uh, that is banana plantation, Matoke, mm -hmm. and this is cassava plantation. Yeah, those are the signature of Uganda, the cassava and the banana. I'm sure the, everyone the has the Matoke. Oh, in Uganda they call banana matoke. You just have to say matoke. So, where we are going, we are going to see the Idi Amini's torture chambers. Torture chambers? Where are thousands of Ugandans lost their lives. You know the reason why Kampala is called Kampala? You remember, it's because in high school we were told because there were a lot of impala yeah, animals. Impala, impala yeah, yeah. Animals. yeah. And they could gather on old Kampala Hill. Oh, that's the reason why. But who named Uganda? Uganda mm -hmm. comes, comes from Buganda. Mm -hmm. And the, Impala the, the, the clan. And Kampala mm -hmm. from Impala. Impala. Talk about, because on we do have, where you see Gaddafi Mosque. Mm -hmm. That hill it was full of Impalas. Mm -hmm. So when Captain Frederick looked at him in Uganda, mm -hmm. he first came to Mengo Paris. By yes. then it was during the regime of Mwanga. Mm -hmm to seek permission from Mwanga. So Mwanga permitted him to establish his fort. Mm -hmm. It's called Fort Lugat. Mm -hmm. It is found on Old Kampala Hill. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. where you see Gaddafi Mosque, the current Gaddafi Mosque. Mm-hmm. So the the people they could say that the king has gone to the hill of Impala, mm-hmm. Mwanga, mm-hmm. because Mwanga used to go there to visit Captain Frederick Lugard. Mm-hmm. So the king, the people they could say that the king has gone to the hill of Impala. Kabaka against Zeko Kaso Zeke Impala has gone to the hill of Impala. Mm-hmm. Is Ka mm-hmm. Impala. Mm-hmm. So the king has gone to the hill of Impala. Mm-hmm. So Zi is a hill of of is Ka and Impala. Impala. Ka Impala. Impala. I'll have to write that. Mm. So mm. this is maize plantation. Yeah, so you also maize. do maize plantation but ugali in uganda guys it's called posho mm. posho as we call in kenya we call ugali ugali yeah ugali ugali is posho in uganda mm. Mm. you know those those are what you call dragon flowers mm. let's see i don't know if i can capture let's see if they'll pass here are you seeing those insects? They are called dragonfly. Dragonfly. Why are there so many here? They love the palace. They love the palace. <laughs> wow, they love being near the king. They could capture people from Kampala. Mm-hmm. They could tie them. Mm-hmm. They could fold them. They could put these people in the car boats and drive them around Kampala. Mm-hmm to convince them that they are, they are taken far away from Kampala and bring them back in this church chamber, mm-hmm. these people, they had already lost hope. Mm. So many Ugandans were killed. So the reason why you're calling them innocent Ugandans, they were just random being picked from the street. Businessmen, mm-hmm. people who could oppose the government, mm-hmm. priests, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the soldiers could stand on the top of the torture chamber mm-hmm. and it was difficult for someone to escape yeah you can't escape in this narrow it was they were both used by Idi Amin and obote mm-hmm. yeah. and in history obote killed more people more than even Idi Amin mm-hmm. there's no Idi Amin is normally known uh, for giving expulsion to the Asians mm-hmm. And Obote, I remember Obote, that story. He didn't yeah. want any Asians in Uganda. So Obote came back. That mm-hmm. is in 1980 up to 85. Mm-hmm. Later he was overthrown by Tito Kyoto, and then President Museveni Yuri Kabuta came in. That is in 1986 up to now. Mm-hmm. So many Ugandans were killed. People. They just wanted to extract information out of them. What do you know about Obote? What is Obote planning to do mm-hmm. next? Mm-hmm. It had an effect though. And I don't think it's Up there. Mm-hmm. Water. So the cells are here. You're supposed to come out of your cell, you come here, you step on water. And then the, these are the. It was electrically connected. Electrifies people. So that's how they were being tortured. Let me see what kind of wire this is. Oh, it's an armored cable. It's a focal armored cable. The the last room was for the dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Guys, that is the last room where they would put the dead bodies. It is so dark. As dark as Yanning Grave, so they put the dead bodies there, 
how they could wait for the big army lorries to take them and throw them in the water bodies. Mm -hmm. So they could be taken by nail fashion and crocodiles. And it was difficult for someone to escape. But it's to show the world that the Toshian Ingo people not only in Uganda but worldwide mm -hmm. no longer exists. It okay? doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Now if you're seeing these stories today in Africa, this is like a, just a tourism point now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the exit, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah, even if you're trying to run away, you can't. You will be shot from you above there. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot even run from the entrance up to the exit without being shot by the police who are who are above the there. Yeah. So welcome to the ED Aminis Armory that was constructed by the Israelis in the early 1970s, but later turned into a torture chamber where thousands of Ugandans lost their lives. So the reason why Idi Amin used the Israelis, by then these were the best engineers. Mm -hmm. And they were friends to Idi Amin. So Idi Amin built this torture chamber in 1972. Mm -hmm. He told them to come and build for him a place of armory. But when he heard that Obote was in Tanzania, with Julius Nyeri planning to come back and overthrow him from power, what he decided to do is to turn this into a torture chamber so many ugandans lost their lives and it was both used by Idi Amin and obote clothes from a big trees are being but you put off the outer part of it the back of the tree This I use the pound mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the back mm -hmm. whereby uh, a man who is making back row has to pound mm -hmm. the back row and then it becomes like this. Mm -hmm. put it, put, they have to put it in some shape for some time mm -hmm. as well as this. Okay? And in our kingdom of Uganda, the local Uganda people they could use this as a dressing coat. Mm -hmm. They could put this and the rest of their things. Mm -hmm. And in our kingdom of Uganda, and even on the side of Christians, mm -hmm. in Uganda, people they wrap the dead bodies in this black rock. Mm -hmm. On the side of two ones, we did make some paintings out of this. What is the name of that tree you said? It is a fig tree. A fig tree. A fig tree. Yeah. That is the clothing, right? Is this? So this is a body game. Mm -hmm. Made up of 32 pits mm -hmm. and 60 persons. Mm -hmm. The way of winning this game is by capturing the opening seats. Mm -hmm. Whereby this is my, my, my GA and this is G. Mm -hmm. The way of winning this game is by capturing your opponent's seats board. until someone is remaining nothing. So turn by turn, turn by turn, you pick, I pick, you pick, I pick. Mm -hmm. It is map ya Buganda, map of Buganda. It is made up of 18 counties, and each county is having a chief leader. Leader. So this is the current king. He's called Ronald Mwenda Mtebi. I remember I told you when the king is alive, we call him Kabaka. Kabaka. When he passes away, he becomes Se Kabaka Mutesa the first. Okay. So this is father to son, father to son, father to son. Mutesa the father to Mwanga. Manga is the father to Daudi Chua. Daudi Chua is the father to King Freddy or Edward in the second. That one means Saba. 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 Kawaka Awangari. May the king live longer. Amen. The entrance of the office. What it is from the side of us. As you see, there is your body. There is your body. There is your body. What were they English. Mm -hmm. And this was translated into our local language. 
written on 14th of April 1875. It was published in the Daily Telegraph on the 15th of November 1875. And in 1877, the first group of missionaries, mm -hmm. these were Anglicans from the Church Missionary Society, mm -hmm. arrived in Canada. You said the letter was written in English. That means he was learned. Well, the Arabs had come first here, mm -hmm. and then they taught him how to read mm -hmm. and write in English. Yes, mm -hmm. he would, because the Arabs, of course, they were working, especially the Oman, they were working for the whites, mm -hmm. for the Europeans getting slaves. Mm -hmm. But of course, in the kingdom, they never got slaves, but they befriended the king, mm -hmm. and they would only come for ivory mm -hmm. uh, from this kingdom, mm -hmm. which the ivory got from our neighboring kingdom, the nearest Arab kingdom. Mm -hmm. Now this group thing could read and write. Mm -hmm. They knew even Arabic. Mm -hmm. It was um, broken, broken English, 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 but the but, word uh, was yeah. passed. Yeah, and uh, again he wrote a second letter as well. My friend, Queen, mm -hmm. have not gotten a reply. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, you, why are you taking so long mm -hmm. to send a, a reply? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But now that is Mutesa mm one, -hmm. and his son was Mwanga, put him on a black, I mean, mm -hmm. on a, in a turban, the white turban. The white turban? That is Mwanga, and mm -hmm. his father embraced Christianity, was a black like mm -hmm. And Mwanga is the one who converted to the Christian converts. Okay. And uh, his name, actually, when he was in Seychelles, mm -hmm. he was baptized and became a mm -hmm. So he converted to Christianity. Mm -hmm. and here, when he was here, he then fought this. Mm -hmm. Amwanga established his palace in 1905, mm -hmm. and this is the king who stayed here for 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, father to Daudi, the baby, comes back. So from there, his clan became Christian. His his yeah, family became Daudi. from Daudi. Starting from Daudi because Daudi had a Christian marriage, mm -hmm. a church marriage in 1914 when he was at the age. Mm -hmm. Immediately he came back from India, mm -hmm. and uh, things started from there. Mm -hmm. Now kings are Christians. Oh. They are Anglicans. Oh, Anglican. Daudi's son is Freddy. Mm -hmm. Who was the first president? Edward Frederick William, mm -hmm. but his problem is in the other. Mm -hmm. And he's the father to the current mm -hmm. Many other pictures here. He was there. the first president now. That was the first president of Uganda okay. in 1963. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, here we have the two mothers visiting Uganda, two of the line, King Freddie and the wife. Another picture of Freddie's wedding in 1948. These are kings from other parts of the country. King from the Mural. So his wedding also king and the king. Kings from other, yeah. King from other kingdoms. We also have a special king from other kingdoms. And then the other picture shows the first modern palace, and that is what he was found in 1966. That was this palace that was torn. The current. Yes. That's the reason why it's called the Royal Mile. The Royal Mile actually in Freddy was in Edinburgh in Scotland. Mm -hmm. We saw the Royal Mile. Around when? On the 1st of July, 1993. Mm -hmm. He puts on a letter skin a piece of back cloth mm -hmm. that comes from the feet. Mm -hmm. uh, the Royal Wedding of 1999. Mm -hmm. uh, that was colorful, as seen, BBC, and even uh, all other media houses. Mm -hmm. That was the way they 
Another picture of the kebab. The current kebab, the food. Yeah. And the wife to the kebab. Mm -hmm. This is the wife to the kebab. She's so beautiful. The current? Yes. And then the family. So this is the, the second son. The second son. So this one, who will become the king? This one. The first boy never becomes the king. The tombs that burned down in the state of March 20th. Mm -hmm. And the Tama height was about one meters. So it was nine and a half meters in Tama height and it started by about one meters. It was a masterpiece of the picture. And uh, inside it looked like a hand on the time basket. Mm -hmm. You see the basket in there. Mm -hmm. It was like a hand on the time basket. That's Baganda architecture. It's so beautiful. It's under restoration. Probably next year it will be open to the public. Mm -hmm. And it burnt down on 16th March. Why did it burn? I would think it was, it was not an accident. Somebody must have done it on purpose. But investigations were carried out and the report is still on the president. So okay. that now we don't know the time of why. Okay. Now, yeah. Put on the comment yeah. section which one you would love to have, and then I'll, I'll tell the art guy to produce one for me. The material is very light, very, very light. It's made from it's made from a fig tree naturally. This is a good talent. Who taught you how to do it? Then you frame it in a window light and you put it in a even the the long frames, you see the slim long frames. You can frame that, and your house will be so beautiful. Original guys, this is original from Uganda, direct from the artist, no third party, direct from the producers. His name is. Can, can we say your contact? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can people get you when they want them? My name is your So if they are calling you from Uganda, they call with a zero. If they are calling you outside Uganda, they. Two five six plus two five six. Yes. Then seven seven eight four. Three, three, mm -hmm. ten. Okay. Uh, two, five, six, uh, seven, five, seven, sixteen, twenty-six, thirty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. The, the original producer of the African clothing from a fig tree. Remember, guys, this can be a decoration of your sitting room. You frame them in a glass frame. They look so beautiful and so natural. I've been shown how they have been produced. Yeah, guys, this bag that is made from that fig tree bar, when you saw when the one that you saw in the production, this is how it looks. Very beautiful. Natural African bar. Yeah, that bag is so beautiful. You should have one. It goes for 50k Ugandan money. Yes, 
Let's promote our own from East Africa. But he respects those religions. That's the reason why. So my tour guide on at this point, what is this point called? It's called the Bulange. Bulange. This is the we parliament. Mm -hmm. Where we have the parliament of Uganda Kingdom. First of all, introduce yourself if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm Hidaya. Yeah. This is a tour guide at Bulange. Yes. And the Bulange is an administration block for Uganda Kingdom. Yeah. And this building houses the parliament of Buganda Kingdom. It has the office of the king, the queen of Buganda, the prime minister of Buganda Kingdom, and all the offices of the ministers of Buganda Kingdom. Mm -hmm. with the court for Buganda Kingdom. Okay. So in front of us, we have uh, the monument of the king, the current king, Ronald, Madam II. Why the current? You have to put the current, not the first. As you found the start of the kingdom, mm -hmm. we spent 27 years without kingdoms as they attacked the palace in 1966 May by Nathan Abut and Gideon. Uh -huh. So, 
they abolished all the kingdoms. Mm -hmm. And it's the one who restored the kingdoms mm -hmm. where he was crowned to the throne in 1983 at first of July. And that's the day he was crowned to the school. Wow. Wow. That's on the one moving on one leg because then the kingdom is not in court. And it's the 36th king. Mm -hmm. Uganda kingdom started with the local center. Mm -hmm. It has been there for 800 years. Mm -hmm. So, even if you get another king, the success of this one will not be able to change this moment. Because he's like a hero. Yeah, because mm -hmm. he's the one who restored the kingdom. So, it was pushed by the Lord of the Yeah. Wow. That is so awesome. Have you had guys, when you do something to the society, they'll not be able to forget you. They'll put something to remember you. This is a sculpture for the hero king. The building has three entrances, yeah? On your left hand side, we used to enter through that entrance when you're going to the radio station, CBS. Mm -hmm. But they transferred that radio station from that building to the other building down there, mm -hmm. which is called the Masengere building. Yeah. And that's where you can find the radio station of Buganda, the television of Buganda, and even the office of land in Buganda. Okay. So in this main entrance, mm -hmm. when we enter there through that uh, entrance, we go to the office of the king, the prime minister of Buganda kingdom, the office of the queen of Buganda, with the parliament of Buganda kingdom. Okay. On your right hand side, there is also another entrance. When you come through the other entrance, that's why we go to the office of Majestic Trans and all certificates in the Buganda Kingdom, we pass through the other entrance. So we have the introductor, introduction letters and customary marriage is considered in Uganda. So that's why I get those letters. Wow, um, wow. Totem is alongside that road. Yeah. And these are others here which are designed on this building. Mm -hmm. The totem is classified under animals, insects, birds, and plants. Mm -hmm. Outside, they have the big animals. Mm -hmm. Where that is a bushback antelope, we have the lion, the elephants, mm -hmm. we have the buffalo, rhinoceros, and others up. Mm -hmm. This side, they have the hippopotamus plant, mm -hmm. the colbus monkey, the CBT cat, guinea tea cat and others on the top. So all the clans were given names according to the animals? No. Mm -hmm. It has a background. It doesn't have the names according to the animals. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the clans are classified, are classified under animals, insects, birds, and plants. Mm. Some are animals, some are plants, some are birds, some mm. are fish. Mm -hmm. So they are not all animals. Okay. But each clan has the background how we uh, belong to those clans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it works as a matter of choosing whatever animal it is, mm -hmm. or whatever bird. Mm -hmm. But there's some backup from family. Some are dangerous to that family, some are good to that family, some are bitter to that family. Mm -hmm. That's how we got to, to name them. To that clan. Mm -hmm. And each clan has the specific names. So if I introduce myself to you, mm -hmm. if you're Muganda, you easily know the clan which you belong to. Mm -hmm. the surnames that you have. Mm -hmm. I'm Naratans from Pangolini clan. Mm -hmm. You'll never hear that name to any other clan mm -hmm. besides the Pangolini clan. Okay. And each clan has the official duty to the king. So everybody has its own, every clan has its own duty which is supposed to perform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So you've seen the royal mile when you are coming from the palace, mm -hmm. and those are the totems which are designed on that royal mile. Each clan, each tree represents a clan there, and there are supposed to be 56 trees representing 56 clans in Uganda Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Wow, awesome! Mm -hmm. Which you can see here, this is a fiber crop. We have a unity. These are wild peas. We have the stiletto, that is a hat, and that is a monkey. That is an elephant fish. We have grasshopper, monster lizard. We have an excretor. There is a dog, a aquatic pod, an otter. So there is also the cane rat. So, I've told you each clan has the official duty to the king and there's some background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we the children, we can't decide on the clan, many on the tribe, the region, and even the clan 
Once you've gone, you take the daddy's hand, try it, and even the little. So we don't have a chance to choose cross. And the king mm -hmm. took the dad, the mom's hand because he didn't want to discriminate, discriminate his parts. Mm -hmm. That's why he chose the mom's hand. Mm -hmm. His mom is from the monkey, that's why he belongs to the monkey. So you're not allowed to choose any pattern of this clan if you are from that clan. And you don't allow to choose any pattern from the same clan. If I'm the company, that is an incest if you choose a pattern from the same clan. You're not allowed to choose any pattern from your mom's clan. It is also an incest. Mm -hmm. Once you marry to the clan which you belong to, that is a curse which is going to follow even to the granddaughters or the grandsons. Oh, that's that is why, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's why you are not allowed to choose a pattern from the same clan. Mm -hmm. It's a taboo to eat your own clan if the clan is edible. You know very well that grasshoppers, we eat them and it's a delicious insect in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Whereby most of the Ugandans eat grasshoppers. Yeah, sinene, locus, they call it sinene. Sinene. Yes, sinene. So this locust is eaten by everybody and those who belong to that insect are not allowed to eat them. It's so a taboo when you eat your own plant. Awesome. So I'm from the Gwendolyn. My name is from the Nandi. If I marry somebody from this uh, grasshopper, it means that I will no longer eat grasshoppers because I will be eating my own children. Mm. So if I give you the example how we belong to this plant, a papa plant, I'll explain about this man. There was once a family whereby the wife waked up early in the morning to prepare breakfast for the husband. She had the baby crawling in the compound. Mm -hmm. But she forgot to bring salt. And then she went inside because the teacher was outside for the salt. Mm -hmm. When she was inside, this animal came out of the tree, picked the baby and climbed the tree with the baby. Mm -hmm. So they looked for their baby, the baby wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And after some time, they had the baby crying up the tree. They wanted to throw stones to this animal so that they can get their baby. But they realized that if they throw stones to this animal, the baby might fall and yes. lose their the baby. Or yeah. this animal jump over other branches and go to other trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what they did, they went to the witch doctor to seek solutions so how they can get their baby. And then they they gave them solutions that let them prepare local food which are eaten by this animal and even fruits. Mm -hmm. But among the fruits which they prepared, that was jack fruit, mm -hmm. the yellow bananas, half feathers and others. So they invited this animal and it came out of the tree that they placed the baby aside and started eating the yellow bananas. So that's how they got their baby. Once they got their baby back, they belong to this animal. Mm -hmm. Reason why it is called the enjima because it collected the baby mm -hmm. and they belong to this animal. Wow, that's so a beautiful a story. Yeah. It wasn't a matter of choosing whatever animal. Mm -hmm. When you see a dog there, it defended that family because there was the thieves which entered that house. Mm -hmm. When the dog? The, the dog chased away the thieves mm -hmm. and they, this dog defended that family, and then they, they belong to that, this dog. Mm. So, that is the example of this background. Class. The background. Uh, that is the background to mm -hmm. how we belong to this totems. And I've told you each clan has the official duty to the king. Yeah. There are some which entertain the king, like the mushroom. If you see that mushroom, we have three types of dancers in Uganda. We have Bak Simba, Nankasa, and Mogola. Mm -hmm. Bak Simba, they dance in the uh, planting and put the heels down. When you plant, this is Bak Simba. Mm -hmm. and this is the way how they dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for uh, uh, Nankasa, you plant and put the leg behind, like this. This is how we dance. Okay. And if it is Mogola, you have to stand on your toes. Mm -hmm. You don't need to put your heels down. Then you stand over. For the judges, they put for your face, the smile, mm -hmm. the, 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 what, the, the waist, the spirit of the waist, yeah. and even your footwork. Mm -hmm. So you will not be able to dance mm -hmm. when you have a prominent face, mm -hmm. you have to smile and then you entertain the mm -hmm. So they dance for this 
So men dance like this. This is the way how they dance. And women dance like this. This is the way how they entertain the king. Wow. There is not another kind which is supposed to entertain the king besides the national flag. That is a diapo. That is a grand yam. This is a large black ant. This is a black fish. I promise we have a olive enter. This is water. Uh, this is a pastry crane. This is a statue madam. I come to this plan, which is called the Hakuni plan. So we defend the king. We are defenders or we protect the king. You will not find the throne inside. Because you are the ones to keep that throne. Mm -hmm. So we bring the throne when the session is going to start like 15 minutes. We don't leave the throne there because if the, one of the things sits on that throne, it means that I have taken over. Mm -hmm. So that is our duty. The king can't attend any function without the plan. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about the duties which are performed to the king every clan. Mm -hmm. So each clan doesn't go to any other one's clan besides you're supposed to perform your duty with it like now. Mm -hmm. And it's a hereditary basis whereby you can't get other families. The families which started that are the ones which from the area to the sun like that and then you get another one. Wow. I love how you're explaining it. But since we're not parliamentary, so we can't use this main entrance. The main we're going entrance. to use the gallery, that's why you see the portrait of the king. And you see the word Lokiko, it means parliament. In a local language, it is Kiko. Yeah. So that is the parliament of Uganda. Oh. And that is the character. He uses this main entrance with all the parliamentaries. So since we are not parliamentaries, we're going to draw questions about the parliament of Uganda Kingdom. Wow. Love the walling, the design. The design, the punches from Mahogan tree. Mm -hmm. are from uh, that tree was from Congo by that time, mm -hmm. and even Uganda. Ah. Guys, have you seen the Mahogan wall? How it's so beautiful. I wish my house would be like that one day. Wow, even the floor. Yeah, we are in the parliament, guys. So, this is the parliament for Uganda Kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's quite different from any other parliament in Uganda mm -hmm. or in any other country. Mm -hmm. There, you can see it resembles other parliaments, but it's different as I'm going to explain you. Mm -hmm. This was built in 1953 to 1955 yeah. during the reign of King Freddy, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the father to the current king, Ronald Wendham II. Mm -hmm. And when he was on his studies, he studied in Europe and Cambridge University of England. And after his studies, he visited some of the countries in Europe. And one of the countries which he visited that was Northern Ireland, in a city called the Belfast, there is a parliament which is called Stormont Parliament. That's where he got the design. He came up with the design in Uganda, and then the members of the parliament agreed with him so that they can design this parliament. Wow. It was designed by the company called Coburn Coel, Singh and Brothers Company, and it costed four millions by that time, which was which was converted to dollars, and that was five hundred seventy-two thousand dollars during that time. So, in this parliament, the king enters this parliament once within a year to close and to open for another year. And yes, the prime minister for Buganda Kingdom has eight sessions within a year. When the king is inside, he sits on that red carpet. I've told you the throne is not there because the pangolin can are responsible for that throne. 
and they bring that throne when the session is going to start like 15 minutes. The speaker is the owner of that, uh, that chair, the long chair. The small chair is for the clerk who writes the minutes in this parliament. So we have the opposite and op opposing and proposing side, but it's not as you see it. We don't have that proposing side and uh, opposing side in this parliament. It's traditional. And those first two columns, those are for the Prime Minister and the Ministers of Buganda Kingdom. These last two columns are for the clan heads, uh, which we have 56 clans in Buganda. The first column on your right hand side is for the princesses and prince. Second column, it is for the Vice President of Uganda or any visitor from the government of Uganda. The third column is for the chiefs for the counties, because we have 18 counties in Uganda. And the last column is for the executive directors within this kingdom. So this gallery up are all, uh, they organize all the chairs for all visitors who want to attend the session. So when the king is inside, there are three people who speaks in this parliament, which is the speaker, the prime minister, and the minister of information. So the king closes, and there are no arguments in this parliament. So, it's the duty of the Prime Minister for Buganda Kingdom to organize another session so that they can resolve what the King has said. Mm. It's always in our local language, Uganda, and the issues which they discuss on how they can develop the Kingdom, uh, giving bursaries or scholarships to the young ones who lost their parents, because the King has his own schools. Mm -hmm. Another thing, it's all about how we can collect taxes on the land which you have, and that is the most income which you have within the Uganda Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Unless there are some contradictions within the central government, let's say in 2010 there was a proposal whereby they wanted English to be our national language and Uganda uh, to remove Uganda the syllabus. That was good here, yeah, and the king decided English to be the national language and Uganda remains on the syllabus because Uganda from Uganda. Yeah. It's still a proposal in the government of Uganda because right now we don't have a national language. We only have the official language which is English. Mm -hmm. So, in this parliament we don't vote or elect the parliamentaries. They are appointed by the king. If you vote, Maya, if uh, the king appoints the members of the parliament, we don't swear in by raising a Bible or a plan. Mm -hmm. It's traditional. So the king has his own advisors. I don't want to come up with those names and even the ties so that they can pick the one who can be minister in this parliament or a member of the parliament. Mm -hmm. So once when you've been appointed as a minister, traditionally you have to go nearby that will be perfect. And then you kneel down to the king. Mm -hmm. This is the way of appreciating to the king. Mm -hmm. After kneeling, you have to introduce yourself to the king. That mm -hmm. I'm never to see that from family in one. My mom is from the Nandi, and I married to Elephant Clan. I'll be able to handle the Uganda Kingdom as a means of tourism, and I'll be able to fulfill as uh, fulfill my duties as a means of tourism in the Uganda. So long live I serve as a There is an emblem there which has the two spears at the field, whereby the line is acting, because acting is as strong as that line. So you hold the spear and open the spear, and you move backwards. You're not allowed to see your back to the king. And then you flip the So this the same thing like Wow. Mm -hmm. So that is the one. Yeah. Oh. Story, guys. Yeah, guys, welcome back to Masses Empire. I'm so, so, so happy to be here sharing this story. Kindly comment, subscribe, and share to the world. Let's show. People, there is much to see in Uganda. There is so beautiful places to visit, very many tourism sites. I welcome you all. You come to Uganda, experience Uganda, you will love it. 
am so in love with Uganda. I am so in love with Uganda. Subscribe. On weekends, you you're very busy. You have a lot of tourists from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, guys Let's come and tour Africa. Let not only white come to tour Africa. We also tour our Africa and show it to the world. Think about our country. Yeah. This is a very beautiful experience. Okay, thank you. What is your name? Dumbaya. Dumbaya. Oh. Wow, this is this looks like life. Yeah, that's how it looks. Even though it is in water. Yeah. Yeah. Each each of oh. Guys, did you hear? Each of these sculpture animals club capture that represent a uh, Baganda clan. Wow. Each of them costs 10 million. You say 10 million? You said how much money? 10 million, 10 million yeah. each. And he's a local artist from Uganda, guy. So they are all on this street. Yeah, the one mile for yeah. the Baganda Kingdom. Yeah. So you you work for are you do you work for Baganda Kingdom or do you yeah, work for the, I work for Baganda Kingdom? Oh so yeah, the, the ones who keep them yeah. in here mm. and support them all the time. What's this a fish or what? What is this animal? It's a mamba. Mambo. There is a mamba. It's a, it's a crocodile, yeah? No, mamba. Mamba. Yeah. There is mamba. 
Is this an impala? No. The gazelle. They are so beautiful. Yeah, guys, you Now you, you come from which animal? Where are you up there? What is your animal? It's called Mbogo. Mbogo. You're yeah. from Mbogo. <laughs> I know animals, man. <laughs> That's a cow and a cow from Uganda. The guy is laughing at me that I don't know the cow. I know a cow. The red ants, yeah. yeah they, we call them Chinyomo. Chinyomo? Yeah. Oh. The red ants. Oh. Guys, those are the red ants. It's called the yeah? Shown you, kindly comment and say the names. The names. And if you are an animal, which type of animal would you like to be? For me, I'd like to be an lion because it's the king of the jungle. I was telling you, people come here to take photos of these different animals here. As you can see, the guys ahead of us, they are taking each other photos. Mm. Which is your clan? Embogo. Embogo is a buffalo. It's a buffalo. Yeah, and that is my friend's clan. This is his clan. Yeah, he, he associates with that clan. It's called Embogo. <laughs> 